Welcome to South Sound Seniors, a program for and about older adults in our community. And in this holiday season, we just want to wish you all a wonderful Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And we really want to express our sincere gratitude for this past year and all that Thurston County Media has done, the staff and the volunteers here are just wonderful. They're the ones that really make it possible for us to bring this show to you. So just a huge shout out to Thurston County Media. We have a couple of wonderful guests tonight. First, I'm gonna be talking to Molly Noble, who's our Supportive Services Director. And then we have a real holiday treat for you. So hope you stick around for the whole show. But first, welcome, Molly. Thank you, thanks, it's nice to be back. Yeah, you were here a while a ago when ago. you first kind Probably of got started. Probably a year and a half ago, almost. Right, so you've been at Senior yeah. Services now for- Almost a year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah. And you were, you were started as a volunteer coordinator. And supportive services. And supportive director. services, and now you're all supportive services. All supportive services. <laughs> and taking on more and more programs mm -hmm. all the time. And you're yes. here to talk about a couple of programs. Yes, I would like to tell everybody today about our dental program and uh -huh. about a program that um, benefits seniors' pets. We brought this guy yes. as a visual Izzy's cue. He's a prime example. Yes. He could use a, he could use a, a stylus. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so our, the dental program is, uh, we have money, that a generous donation or bequest from the Community Foundation um, that is specifically for seniors to get help paying for dental hygiene. Mm -hmm. um, and it, the group that it, um, the money is for is for low-income seniors, um, either those seniors who are, you know, at home, who are considered homebound, or who are in a hospital stay or a skilled nursing facility, but who really would like to or need to get their teeth cleaned. Um, mm -hmm. So for those folks, we have a mobile hygienist who can go to a home or to a facility mm -hmm. um, and perform a dental cleaning and then kind of take a look and, and make some recommendations about how that person then might follow up with, a, with their regular dentist. Um, and if and someone does need to have a, a dentist or at least a primary care provider that can sign off on some paperwork and kind of give a general medical history um, so that the hygienist knows what, what she's getting into. Wow. Mm -hmm. so and the, if there's any pre-medication needed, then they can um, help with that. With that. Yeah. So the hygienist actually goes to the home yes. or to a nursing home yep. or? Yep, any, to wherever the, the individual is. Uh -huh. And also this can be especially useful for seniors who might have a cognitive impairment, um, an Alzheimer's or other dementia, um, where going to a dentist's office might be um, more trouble than it's worth. Or um, confusing it, yeah, or stressful. Yeah, it might be agitating or confusing. Mm -hmm. um, so for those people to minimize the stress mm -hmm. um, of getting their teeth cleaned, then they're in their own home and everything is familiar. Or somebody with very extreme anxiety um, or you know someone who's not comfortable leaving their house, mm -hmm. um, the hygienist can talk to them and, and talk about eligibility. But that's really it's for folks for whom getting to the dentist is is very difficult or impossible. Wow. Um, on the other hand, we work with um, Smile Care, and they come to the Olympia Senior Center. They're taking a couple of months off for the holidays, um, but we can help offset the cost with the community found dental money um, for seniors who would like to get their teeth cleaned who are not mm -hmm. homebound, mm -hmm. um, they can come into the center. Um, it's, I believe it's the first Friday, um, mm -hmm. but it's best to call the senior center and ask at the front desk mm -hmm. um, for the specific dates that Smile Care is in the building. And no appointments are needed for those times, but they would need to, the senior would need to call me first so that we could arrange payment mm -hmm. um, in advance with Smile Care. But, um, uh, but so then they would come and have their teeth cleaned and then again, mm -hmm. The dental hygienist through Smile Care would make recommendations about what, what work they might need to think about in the future. Wow. Well, you know, I know that <clears throat> so many people lose their dental coverage when they're not yeah. working anymore. Yeah. So that could be really helpful for yeah. low-income folks. Yeah. And I do just want to stress that it is, I wish that the that we could, you know, do some some larger scale things with, with the dental fund. And perhaps someday we can, um, you know, if we, mm -hmm. if we have different grant opportunities in the future, but this one is just for dental hygiene. Mm -hmm. um, and then in some cases, there may be exceptions to, uh, to help people with a little bit of, you know, additional, additional help. So, mm -hmm. um, but th so if anybody's interested in these programs, they just need to call me. I'm, I work out of the Olympia Senior Center Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. um, 
and you can, and I, should I give my phone yes. number yeah, please to do. the audience? It is 360-586-6181, and you can ask for Molly. I'm the only Molly, or ask for extension 120. 120. Yeah. Yep. All right. <clears throat> well, that's awesome that there's yeah. that resource for mm -hmm. folks. Yeah, and I can also, if, if folks also have questions about how to, how to get more intense dental care um, at mm -hmm. low or no cost. I always tell people to give the Union Gospel Mission Free Dental Clinic a call. Mm -hmm. um, they do wonderful work there, and they're very, um, they, they can get people in pretty quickly if, it's, if there's a really urgent need. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're great to partner with. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, Izzy's more interested about the pet information. He sure is. He looks, <coughs> he looks like he's on the edge of his seat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we also work with Concern for Animals. Um, through a grant that they have, we act as the referral agent to um, to refer seniors, being the senior center. Um, so I work with Concern for Animals to refer low income, again low income seniors. Mm -hmm. um, and we we because of our senior center, you know, our cap of se our definition of senior is fifty five. Mm -hmm. We also use that for for this definition for the pet program. So if mm -hmm. you're fifty five or older and you're a low income senior, mm -hmm. you um, are eligible for free grooming. Um, for mm -hmm. your for your dog or do multiple dogs and um, to date I have not had a request for a cat to be groomed I think that would be a terrible experience <laughs> but, but I don't think the cats are off limits if you have a cat that enjoys being groomed um, so you can you can call the senior center again ask for me um, and I will ask a couple of questions about your about income and about age mm -hmm. and then I will ref make the referral to concern for animals um, they, they also have a mobile a groomer and her company is called Fluff on the Fly, which oh. everybody <laughs> likes. Um, and so, so once I make the referral to Concern for Animals, um, mm -hmm. if transportation is an issue or just if if you're not if it's if it's a hardship to mm -hmm. get to the one um, contracted spa, which is Friendly Grove Pet Spa, um, Concern for Animals will make a recommendation to the mobile groomer um, to to come to your home mm -hmm. and groom your dog or dogs. Um, and so both, so, so Concern for Animals will then contact the senior directly after mm -hmm. we make the referral and set up all the details. But it's a great, um, they, they do have money. I don't know how much money is left in the pool, but if you would, if, if any seniors are out there who want to get their dog groomed to look sharp for the holidays, um, it's a great opportunity to take advantage of. So. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, thank you for being that point person for so many services. Yeah. We just talked yes. about a few of them. Yeah. And, and supportive services can mean all kinds of things. So if anyone has a general question um, just about resources in the community or getting connected with, um, with different avenues of, of, of the senior network, mm -hmm. um, I am happy to, to field any questions and help as best I can. Great. Thank you so much. And thanks for having thanks me. Thanks for coming in tonight. You're welcome. That's right. <laughs> and Izzy says and goodbye, Izzy. too. Goodbye, Izzy. Yeah. Thanks and for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. Take care now. We will be back with a Christmas gift to you in just one minute.